Hello everyone, my name is Ilona and today is June 1st, 2023. So I wanted to take a look at the month energies. And of course I'll do that with my month reading. I've got three cards for the energy of June, three cards for the uh, challenges, the blockades we could face, three cards for advice for this month and the three cards at the end are the end energies where we will be at the end of June. Of course, I've uh, sh uh, shuffled the cards in my Dutch video, so if you want to see that, you can watch the Dutch video. But the cards I've got, the first cards are about the energies in June. We have Justice, we have the Page of Swords, and we have the King of Wands. So to me, this feels like the White Hats are going to take over more and more. More truth will come out and justice will be served. That doesn't mean necessarily that what we were hoping for, that all these puppets will be taken away and we're going to see all kinds of trials, but that things will come out more and more. It's, like I said, truth will come out. So I think the white hats are going to take a bigger part in this. Doesn't mean that the, the dark energies are gone. This is a chess game. So the dark energies will come up with something and then the white hats will react. That's how I see things. But I think the white hats are going to show more and more uh, of themselves in a way that we'll see more and more their narratives because the narratives, the dark energies are trying to create are kind of just falling flat and apart. And this is all necessary. And justice, like I said, I think more and more things about certain people will come out, scandals, People will not be able to get away with anything. Even people that are now working for the White Hats, you know, made a deal. Justice will be served. They will not get away with anything. I just wanted to, to emphasize that because people are like, yes, well, if they're now working for the White Hats, does that mean that they won't be punished? Yes, they will. So don't worry about that. Justice will be served. No one will get away with anything. But I think in the month of June, the emphasis will be on scandals, things coming out, uh, truths coming out, especially also with the Page of Swords. This is about the truths that people need to hear. So the emphasis, uh, the emphasis of this month will be with that. And it's very interesting because, of course, I already did this video in Dutch that of the end of the uh, reading, I really felt like the media will be targeted this month. And I think that is very important because the dark energies still have a stronghold in the media. A lot of things are not coming through or just uh, narratives are still being created. They're still trying to get away with things. So I think the media will be attacked this month very um, intensely. And like I said, more and more things are going to come out about the media colliding with government, uh, lies coming out, things that they are reporting that are lies. So it's going to be very interesting what will come out eventually. But at the end of the month uh, of June, we were, I think we will see a completely different side of the media, at least, of course, not for the people that are, you know, already quite sometimes, you know, working with all these truths, but for the average person around the world, you know, they will see things as well. Doesn't mean it's going to be very dramatic, but they will be fed all these crumbs. So ultimately they can wrap their heads around it because you can't really push things through like from one till till a hundred when someone is still at like one or number three, it won't work. They will immediately reject it. It's just like those things about the children. You know, I, I do see people asking me, well, why aren't they bringing that out now? Why don't you just show it? People will not believe it. You need to feed it in small pieces because it's so horrific. And if people don't believe it and they will reject it, they're not going to look at anything. You can already see that when you're trying to convince someone about the stinks and what's going on. And you've got more and more information now and there's still people refusing to look at it seeing it as fake and you know that's this isn't this entire information war we're in that's what this is about what is true what is fake what is real what isn't so i think the media is going to be the biggest target in june and the uh, challenges will be the eight of pentacles the three of cups 
and the Queen of Pentacles. And this is really about working with yourself. This is how I interpreted it for the um, challenges. There are still a lot of people, especially people that are completely unaware, obviously, but also people in the uh, in other communities. It's about working with yourself, really trying to see what is going on. And there is a challenge there. There is a, a, a blockade, so to speak, on that a blockage, probably the best word for it, a blockage that people just don't look at themselves, don't reflect on what they're doing, don't see the connection between what's going on in their lives and what's going on inside of them. So that's something that will be a challenge again also in June. And I do think that is the biggest challenge in the Great Awakening to look at yourself, to challenge yourself, to really work with yourself and work with your shadow side. This one is also, these two are very important as well. The Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Cups about enjoying your life. So many people feel so negative right now. They don't trust anymore. They've lost hope. Uh, they feel that nothing really matters. So they don't, they're not taking care of themselves anymore. They might smoke more, drink more, eat more because it doesn't matter anymore. They've lost their, their joy of life and they've lost really taking care of themselves. That is really the queen of pentacles as well. The, the taking care of our bodies, which is very important. If we really want to manifest as the spiritual beings that we are, we need to take good care of our, our bodies as well. Grounding, um, making sure that we feed our bodies well, treat our bodies well. So this is going to be a big challenge for a lot of people to really take care of themselves physically and of course or spiritually and emotionally and mentally but also to enjoy life maybe uh, talk to uh, people you really enjoy being around uh, maybe sit in the sun it can be something very simple but really try to see if you can just create these these um, you know on a daily basis just maybe enjoy your cup of tea or your cup of coffee in the morning and really just enjoy it and you know, relax, relax more, try to maybe walk in nature or just talk to people. It's, it's very important to enjoy your life and see if you can enjoy, you know, what, what's right now, because that's such a high vibration. Yesterday I made rings with my mother. So this is the ring I made myself. My mother made a ring as well. It's, it's, it's really beautiful. It's a silver ring. And I'm very happy with it. And it was something completely out of the, you know, out of the ordinary. It's not something I do. I'm not that creative with my hands, but I love doing it. I really enjoy time with my mother. And uh, we both have our own rings now in a way, but she made one with leaves and I have a different one, but it's just something like that. Do something out of the ordinary, do something that you enjoy or relaxes you maybe just brings you in another energy because that's so important. The, the more you enjoy life, the higher your energy will be, the more you will shine. And that will have an effect on your own life, but also on the collective of humanity. That's why it's really important and it will be a challenge to enjoy yourself. And it can be very small things to just enjoy and relax. This, this is the advice. For the month of June, we have the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Chariot, and we have the Fool. And these are two major arcana cards. This card is, is so suitable. It's about going your own way, being independent, not listening to someone else. Of course, you can just hear them, listen to them, you know, read things, but you make up your mind what you're going to do with it. You don't have to listen to anyone if you don't want to. And uh, it's important to create your own path. Be by yourself in a way. Of course, it doesn't necessarily mean stepping out of relationship, but it means that you are your own person in a relationship or when you're single. It doesn't matter. You just go your own way and uh, feel what is right for you and take good care of you. This is a pentacle card. So it's also about taking care of your body taking care of yourself, pampering yourself, enjoying yourself. So it's very suitable with the challenges. Now, these two cards, the Chariot and the Fool, are very important card, cards. This is about taking control of your life, you know, determining your direction that you want to go, you know, towards 
what is it you want what is it you want to go towards and then the fool is a beautiful card it's about opening yourself up have, up having this um, childlike wandering about the world that's the beauty of this card i just want to talk first about the chariot a little bit more focus on controlling your direction but don't take full control over your life life has to flow as well so there has to be a balance to deciding what you're going to do and also letting things happen so really trust your intuition if you feel you need to do things do them and if you feel like you need to step back for a little bit step back because most of the time especially when i look at myself i just wanted to control everything every detail i needed to know where when what with whom whatever and that's not what this is about this is about determining your your your, your direction taking actions towards that and then also feel when it is time for you to be active or when it's time for you to just receive and see what happens. It's very important to have like a balance. But this card is about taking directions, realizing that you are the one controlling what is happening in your life by handling your energies. But also be open enough to let things happen sometimes. We don't need to have full control over everything. We just determine our direction, we work towards that, we take action, and then we also let things happen. Because that's the beauty about life. Sometimes life can bring us far better things than we can imagine or that we can, you know, think of. And by letting it flow, it can happen, you know, things can happen that you just didn't expect at all, which are far more superior than the things you came up with yourself. The fool is about everything as possible. This is a beautiful energy. Just don't worry about anything. Have faith. And that's very important to trust what is happening and trust that you're going to be all right. Take your steps because just trusting and not doing anything is, of course, not in balance. That means you're very passive. But if you take your steps, you trust where you are, you trust which direction you're going then you can really take on the world, so to speak. But then you can, everything is open. You can go anywhere you want to go. Being, you know, your own person, follow your inner compass. So this is a beautiful advi advice. The end of the month, we have the five of cups. We have the seven of pentacles and we have the king of swords. And that's why I was more focused with the king of swords. Swords are about communication that the media is going to be... Uh, targeted so to speak there's going to be there's going to be a lot happening in the media in june doesn't necessarily mean that everything will change patience again is required but a lot of sadness and um, disappointment will come out so maybe more things about the stings are coming out i just see uh, uh or at least i hear about horrible things now happening a lot of people unfortunately unfortunately are leaving the earth plane connected to the stings more and more things are coming out so this could be very sad and very painful for people to deal with when this is more and more coming out and um, doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be all in the mainstream media in june but i feel things are going to change because we still need to be a bit patient but things are going to change especially with this card i think the white hats are going to show themselves more and more in the uh, media things so to speak in the media area so i think things will happen in the media especially with the king of swords they're still trying to create these narratives but um, they're going to lose the uh, the upper hand so to speak they still will have a lot of control because let's face it the media is pretty much all they still have of course they still have those puppets but the media is still using people's energy to create create a certain narrative a certain reality for them and that is really falling apart so i believe in june the emphasis will be in the media things will change in the media things will come out that they're working with more, the governments i think worldwide more and more things co are coming out in in countries about the media about things they are you know um th where they came out with and um Yes, we're, we're going to see a change in the media. It doesn't mean immediately this gigantic shift, 
but things are going to change. We just need a bit more patience, especially at the end of June, but things are changing. And like I've mentioned before, there is such a big group of people that are completely unaware of this and they need some like crumbs before they can wrap their heads around things. Because if you give them too much immediately, they will just reject it. You're not going to get anywhere with them. So it's important to give things in phases, but things are speeding up. So more and more things are going to come out. I wanted to leave it at this and hope to see another video. Bye.